have reached your destination. What's good, beautiful people? You are watching Who is Derek Andre TV. I am Derek Andre, and this is Between the Trips. I just got this, and I want to tell you about it. Let's talk. All right, y'all. So, as you know, we are in the midst of of a pandemic if you don't know that I'm not exactly sure where you live on this planet because it is a global pandemic hence the name and as a result of this pandemic you know a lot of industry has been truly truly compromised it has been hit very very hard you know retail is all but obsolete right now because none of the malls are open none of the shops and boutiques are open restaurants have been completely and totally devastated because you know people can't really go out and eat like they used to a lot of restaurants are trying to uh you know do drive-through service and stuff like that you know it's just construction every everything is basically dying and there are a few people you know still out you know especially with the with the whole um uh what's it called shelter and stay or whatever it's called where they want you to be at home and kind of self-quarantine so there are still a few people out you know there's like ems police fire department stuff like that um and transportation people which i kind of fall in that category as a transportation driver and so um over the last few weeks you know about five six weeks I have been noticing just a slight decrease in the number of passengers and um, I've been watching my numbers um, as a driver my, my pay numbers diminish I mean they've been going down and so I had a passenger and I'm about to tell you about an angel I had a passenger just a moment ago and we were talking about that stuff and we were talking about you know how everything is screeching to a halt and how people are you know acting like you know it's such a huge inconvenience when they're going into these stores trying to do the six feet you know six foot uh what's it called um uh social distancing type stuff and you know that she we were just talking about all of that and so i started telling her you know about what it's been like out here as a lift driver and i'm like you know normally when i come out i'm i'm pretty excited you know not necessarily excited you know because i might catch coronavirus i'm excited because i'm one of the few people that are still blessed enough to be out here earning a living because there's a lot of people if you look at the unemployment numbers there's a lot of people that are not making money so i'm truly thankful that I still have an opportunity to come out and make money for my family but I was telling her about over the last few weeks that you know man it's been it's been rough you know the the first uh, like a month ago you know I brought home a really really great paycheck and then the week after that it got smaller and then the week after that it was like really small and then this last week um, because I do the express drive program for um, the rideshare company that I that I that I'm that I'm working for, um, I have to pay for my car uh, weekly. It's basically like a rental car, and so this last week that just passed, I didn't make enough money to cover the cost of my car, so I was actually in the hole fifty eight dollars. Imagine that, you know. And so we were talking about that. And I was not talking to her about it to crown her shoulders. You know, I was just kind of telling her about it. And I was like, you know, but I'm still out here because, you know, I know that people still need rides because there are still people that have to get to work, you know, just like I do. Because, you know, we got to make a living. You know, if there's a way that we can stay at home and our bills be paid, then all, by all means, most people would stay at home. But because people still have to get out. I come out and I do my job to do my best to get people to their destination. You know, I got gloves and masks and stuff. Now I got all the, the things that, you know, I still got my bleach wipes and I got stuff to kind of protect me, but I still got to be out here because I got a family to feed. And um, I got her to her destination and we pulled up and she said, hey, just park in that parking space. So I pull over in the parking space and I was just unlocked the door and I was thanking her for, you know, being a great passenger. And she says, here you go. 
Now, I've gotten tips before. I've gotten big tips before. But this one was a little bit different because I know that it came from a true place of humanity. She tipped me $100 in cash today. $100. This came from a true place of humanity. This morning, before I started work, or this afternoon when I came out, I had put my last $6 in my gas tank. So I was like, well, Lord, you know, I'm, I'm out here. You know, I'm, I'm trusting that you will provide a way for me to be able to work through today and tomorrow and hopefully make enough money so that I can do the things I need to do for my family. Because there's some stuff that we need because supplies are getting low because everybody's at home, you know, and so supplies are getting low. So I was like, all right, Lord, you know, I know you got me. And he sent me an angel today. And I appreciated that in more ways than you could ever imagine. When she handed it to me, I was just in shock, you know. And so I'm one of those people who believes in paying it forward. So at some point, I'm going to get a chance to pay it forward. I'm not sure what that opportunity will be. I don't know how it's going to come, but I will find a way to pay it forward. Because I believe that good deserves good. And good also recognizes good. All right. So I just wanted to share that story with you all, man. Just, you know, just just keep yourself safe. Stay out here. Do what you got to do. If you have to be out here, just, just do what you can to be safe. And try to do it with as as positive of, of an attitude as you possibly can. I know it's not easy, but you just never know how you might be blessed on that particular day. All right. So remember, guys, subscribe, ring the bell, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and please buy me share. It. Uh, there's merch beneath. If you want to buy some t-shirts, I could certainly use it. If not, just share the link with somebody, guys. But I appreciate it. All right, be peace, be love, be one, and I will holler at y'all later. Peace.